Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. And today we're going to learn about factoring. Factoring is what we use mainly for quadratic equation and higher degree polynomial. Uh, so today we're going to start with factoring by GCF and difference of two squares. Okay. Greatest common factor. What is greatest common factor? Greatest common factor is the largest number or variable that all factors of your expression have in common. So for example, I have here 15 and 30. How do you find the GCF of 15 and 30? What are the factors of 15? We know that one is a factor of 15. Everything is goes with one. Is two goes with 15? No. Is three goes with 15? Yes. Is five goes with 15? Yes, because uh, 15 divided by five will give us three. Six won't go, seven, eight, nine, 10, no, nope. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, what about 30? What are the number that goes with 15? Uh, with 30, one, obviously. Okay, let me just write that down. Uh, 32, two will work with 30. Three does. Four, no, four, uh, you cannot divide 30 by four. Five, yes. Six, yes, because 30 divided by six is five. Seven won't work. Eight, 30 divided by eight will be a decimal, no, not work. Nine, 30 divided by nine is not, it's not gonna work. 10, yes, because three times 10 is 30. So it's going to be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and so on and so forth. And the next one will be 30. Now among this list here, which is the largest? The largest there is 15. So the GCF of 15 and 30 is 15. So what if we have a uh, variable? For example, we have uh, find the GCF of 2x squared and uh, 10x. Now, for this case here, you would have to do it separately. The coefficient is 2 and 10. What's the GCF of 2 and 10? The GCF of 2 and 10 is just 2. Now, with x squared and x, which one is smaller, x squared or x? x only, because the exponent of this x here is 1, so the GCF is 2x, or 2x to the 1. So, so that's the GCF, okay? So how do we factor out our factor using GCF, okay? So we have 30n squared plus 25. What is the GCF of 30 and 25? The GCF of 30 and 25 is 5, okay? Now... Do both of them have n? No. So the GCF of this expression is just 5. So now we will put draw parentheses here. We will divide this by the GCF, which is 5. 30 divided by 5, it's 6. Drop the n squared because there's no n in our GCF. So drop the n squared. 25 divided by 5 is just going to be 5. For you to know if your answer is correct, you will distribute the 5 here. If you distribute the 5 to the 6, you will get 30n squared. If you distribute the 5 to the 5, you get 25. And that's the original question. So therefore, this is the correct answer. 90 minus 50x to the third power. What is their common factor? The common factor here is 10. 90 and 50 are the common factor is 10. Do both of them have x, a variable x? No, only the second term. So the GCF here is only 10. So what do we write inside the parentheses? We need to divide each term by the GCF. 90 divided by 10 is 9, minus 50 divided by 10 is 5. There's no x in our GCF, so drop the x cubed. And that's the answer. <coughs> now, uh, when we are uh, dividing two variables, when we have, let's say, x8 divided by x squared, we subtract the exponent 8 and 2. So the answer there is x6. How come? Imagine, guys, how many x do we have here? There are 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
how many x's do we have in the bottom? One and two. So we can cancel this and that one. How many x's uh, are left there? There are six. That's why the answer is x to the six. That is part of the loss of exponent. And I will, uh, we will use that concept on this topic. So factor the common factor out of each expression. 2n to the 7 minus n, 10 n to the 4th minus 6n cubed. Let's go again with the coefficient first. 2, negative 10, negative 6. What's the greatest common factor of 2, 10, and 6? That will be just 2. Do all of them, all of the terms have n? Yes. So write n there. Which is the smallest n there? The smallest exponent of the variable n is 3. On the last term, it says 2 and third. So 2 and to the third power is your GCF. So write, draw parentheses here. Divide each term by the GCF. 2 divided by 2 cancel out. N7 divided by N3. Again, I told you, you will subtract the exponent. That will give you 1, or you, you can leave it blank, okay? N to the fourth power. Negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. N4 divided by N to the third power is N to the 1, or just leave it just blank. Uh, exponent there, you can make it invisible. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, and N to the third cancel out. So this is your answer. Next, negative 10B plus 12B squared minus 20B. I expect you all when you draw a gcf keep it positive value let the terms inside the parentheses to be negative it's not gonna change your problem if you make the gcf negative but for uniformity let's keep the gcf positive here okay so negative 10 12 20. the gcf there is 10. no i'm wrong no i didn't see that the gcf here 10 12 20 is 2. Do all of them have Bs? Yes. What is the smallest B there? B1, B2, B3, B1. So draw a parenthesis here, divide them all by the GCF, 2B, 2B, and 2B. Negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. Bs cancel out. 12 divided by 2 is 6. B2 divided by B, there's a B1 here, so subtract the 2 and the 1. That gives you B1, but I will leave it blank there. Negative 20 divided by 2 is negative 10. B cubed, B1 here is B squared. And that is the answer. Very simple, right? So again, for you to double check your answer, you can distribute this. And then you should get the same question, okay? So anyway, let's go ahead now to difference of two squares. From the word difference... That means you're going to subtract of two of two things that are squared, squares. Squared are the like one squared is one, two squared is four, uh, four squared is 16, uh, seven squared is 49, uh, 10 squared is 100. These are the perfect square number. There are more here, okay, the 121. Um, 9, 36, and so on and so forth. You should be familiar yourself with those numbers and things will be easy, okay? But before we keep going here, you know, um, remember that x times x is also x squared. Uh, y times y is also y squared. You should know that x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, all right? Because this might be used later on here, okay? So let's go ahead now. So difference of two squared. Okay, let's go with n squared minus nine here. n squared minus nine, when we factor this one, basically, very simple, there's an invisible one there, okay? So if there's an invisible one there, there's a one n here or one n there. Again, you can leave the one blank, you can just leave it as n. Now, what are the two numbers that when you multiply them will give you a negative nine, but when you add them will give you zero? Why did I say zero? Because here, the real problem here, we're missing the middle term. Here should be n squared plus zero n minus nine. What two numbers, when you multiply them, gives you negative nine, when you add them, gives you zero. The answer is three and three. One is positive, one is negative. What's the correlation of this one to the difference of two squares? 
because 9 is a perfect number. When you multiply two threes, will give you a 9. But when you add them, when one is positive, one is negative, when you add them, it will give you a 0. And that's how different two squares work. Another one here. 9 and 16 are both perfect square number. Remember, the 3 squared is 9. 16 is 4 squared. So that means I'm going to, when I ask to factor them, I'm going to put 3 and 3 here. Since this is x squared, again, we know that x times x is x squared. So I'm going to put x here and x here. Now, for the 16, we know it's 4 squared. When you multiply two fours, 4 and 4, one is positive, one is negative, and that's the answer. Kaboom. Very simple, right? Okay, one more here. Uh, 4u squared minus 25v squared. We know that 4 is 2 times 2. It's going to give you 4. We know that 25 is coming from 5 times 5. It's going to be 25. We know that u squared is u times u, which will be u squared. We know that v times v is equal to v squared. So therefore, this, since they're all squares and the operation between them is difference or minus, so we can apply the dots, difference of two squares. Four can make out of two twos. The u or two u's. The 25 is two fives, and the v's are v's also there. And again, one is positive, one is negative, kaboom. Okay, very simple, right? Just to throw it there, if you have, a, say, n squared plus 9, it won't work. It's a prime. That means it's not factorable. This topic is difference of two squares. You are subtracting the two squares. You're not adding them unlike here. That's why if you're adding them, it's a prime. It's not factorable. You cannot do anything about that for now. All right, moving on. Uh, 45 n squared minus 20. 45 uh, has no factor or you cannot think of two numbers that are the same digit. When you multiply them, it will give you 45 and 20. Or 20, you know. So what are we going to do? Check the GCF. Do you have any common factor between 45 and 20? Actually, the advice or my suggestion is always factor by GCF if possible before doing anything. Okay? That will make your problem right and reduce the possibility of committing mistake and reducing the, the, the value. And it makes it easier. Okay? So 45 and 20, the GCF is? Five. Both of them are divisible by five. That's a common factor. So, and not all of them have n, only 45. So the GCF is five there. So what goes inside the parentheses? This will be divided by five. This will be divided by five. 45 divided by five is nine. N squared, 20 divided by five is now four. Does this item here looks familiar to you? Yes. They come up with the perfect square number. Nine is three times three equals nine. N is N times N, and 4 is 2 times 2 equals 4. So therefore, the answer here is 5, 2 parentheses here, 3 N, 3 N, 2, 2, plus, minus, with the 5 outside, kaboom. Okay? Very simple, right? And last one here, uh, 12 and 3 are not a perfect square number. So do they have any greatest common factor? Yes, the greatest common factor is three. So that will give us, uh, divide by three will be four r squared minus one. And we know that four and one are perfect square number. They are going to be two r and two r, one and one positive, negative, and that's the answer, kaboom, okay? There you go, I hope you learned now how to factor out by GCF and factor by using difference of two squares. And as always, kaboom.